This is one of my favorite games. <laughs> Find the woodpecker. And I rarely catch it. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I'm Jeff. Today is Friday. It's in February. Uh, sunny. I'd say high 40s, low 50s. It's like 9 a.m. No chickens this morning. The ladies to have not come for food. They're up in the shed. Uh, no stray cats this morning. But they were both they were both uh, meowing at me about 10 o'clock last night, so I fed them at, uh, pretty good last night, so that's probably why they're not around this morning. And today is Friday, so I am, well first, since it's still kind of chilly outside, I'm going to go sweep the uh, ceiling and walls in the back bedroom, one step closer to the completing that project. Uh, then I'll come outside and try to pick up another bag of trash before the garbage service comes. And then, then I'll probably have lunch and take a nap. Uh, okay, time to get started. Time to do some sweeping and boy does this side need it. Cobwebs, cobwebs, cobwebs. I am not going to show, gotta take that off the wall, not going to do a time lapse of the sweeping, I'll just do a before and after. That wall should be sufficient. I'm calling that done. Haven't swept the floor yet, but pretty darn good job of getting the ceiling and the walls. So, not perfect, but at least it'll cut down on some of the dust. And I even got the ceiling and the walls in the closet. So, what's left is to sweep the floor as best as possible. Well, first I am going to, uh, first I'm going to mop down the walls. And like in the, well, there's some mold in the corner over there, and I'm going to peroxide that. Um, and just, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be good enough. I'm not going to be spending a lot of time in here. So, it, it uh, and the window's both open. So, that's going to be good enough for today in this back room. Um, not done with the project yet, but yeah. Uh, what was I just talking about? Oh, mopping down the walls, peroxiding some of it, uh, sweeping the floors, then I gotta shuffle around this junk again, and then I've gotta put up a structure to start my seeds in, and figure out a little brooder for baby chicks. Although, one thing I am thinking, I don't know how well you can see in this closet, but, and I need to measure it, but um, I've got some linoleum, like what is on the floors, and I am thinking maybe if I just put down plastic on the floor, put the linoleum up the walls to a certain height, and then just uh, just use the walls as three sides of the brooder and build a another short little wall there in the front um, I don't know, it's an idea okay it is, now I gotta go take out the trash and try to fill up another bag hey photobomb that window isn't open no, it isn't. Fifi. Fifi. Oh, you're going after a moth. Number four. Just chased the cat and I missed it. Good morning, ladies. You're late. It's like 10.30. And you're just now coming for your food. Ride number three. Ride number two. Hi, number two. 
Hello, number four. Good morning, number one. I suppose you want some food. I'll get it for you. back again after starting to edit this video I was gonna combine Friday and Saturday into one video but I just got a lot of footage so I'm gonna split this up into three videos so tonight I will release the vlog from Friday first and then I will edit the vlog from Saturday and I'll probably put that out tonight also and then tomorrow morning, look for a special video. All right, it's not that special. I'm just feeding the hens. But there's a cool move that I pull off with number four. So you'll want to check out all three of these videos. And uh, for this first video from the Friday vlog, I would like to recommend another small YouTube homesteading channel. This one is 3B Farm and Homestead, and I learned about them on the Small YouTube Homesteaders group on Facebook. So the links to their channel and to that Facebook group are below. If you're another small YouTube channel, less than a thousand subscribers, and you're on Facebook, I highly recommend the Small YouTube Homesteaders uh, Facebook group. They've been a tremendous help. And, you know, some of the older, older, bigger, older and bigger channels, relatively speaking, are there, you know, helping out with tips and tricks and all kinds of stuff also. Wholesome Roots, uh, Willow Creek, uh, Two Family Homestead, and I'm, I'm leaving others out. But, yeah, it's just a great group, so go check it out. Okay, watch for my next video coming out later tonight and then another one in the morning.